for Net tonight. It's about a man who's filled with a yearning for adventure and he's making it possible for others to share his thrills on a bicycle built for two. He made a name for himself in the news recently. Dominic Gill cycles 32,000 kilometers. He decided to ride a tandem from Alaska all the way to the very bottom of South America. Please stop snowing! I guess my first question is why a tandem bike? Why? Why would... It, it, it's one of those things I think, you know, in my brain, I go, what was the genesis of this idea? Bicycles are, at some very deep, raw level, interesting to people. The, the very simple, understandable mechanics, they attract people. It doesn't have doors or windows that prevents something from the outside getting in, whether that be smell, sight, sounds, smiles, gestures. It puts you right in the thick of the, the cultural action. And a tandem does it even more. It makes me get someone on the back, and for every hour of the cycling day, I have the opportunity to interact with someone. I'm kind of anxious about the weeks ahead. I don't really, really know what to expect. See what today has to offer. It's just explaining the lack of safety in this mine. The average number of deaths every year is 50. So far, there have been less than 10 deaths this year, but it's it's only February. These are definitely the worst working conditions I think you could probably experience. Oh, yeah! Woo! Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> a little beat me on! <laughs> Hermit the Frog here, reporting from Redwoods National Forest. I think Kermit needs to take a ride. And I'm working on quality snot rockets. Oh, it's not. <laughs> It was a dry run. Whoa. Whoa. Tomorrow you'll be thinking to yourself, yeah, where did it all go wrong? But the list goes on and on. Oh my. Good job. Get the shit out of me. This is the other thing that keeps me alive while I'm out here. It's cactus fruit. On your on your take a seat track, what what did you learn that you think that others should hear? It's worth never giving up. Uh, and anyone can do this. If you need to be tough, you can be tough, whoever you are. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to cycle in snow. Thank you, day trip to the end of the world. Golden rod and the 4 H stone. The things I brought you when I found out you had cancer of the bone. I'm looking forward to seeing the country that I've lived in for 70 plus years and never really seen. And with your help, experience things and situations that I would never otherwise experience. You know, you've mentioned that we'll probably go through or by the Grand Canyon. I've never seen the Grand Canyon. Hey, Ernie, why aren't you pedaling? Uh, <laughs> probably because I can't pedal and talk at the same time, Dominic. <laughs> well, this is going to be a pretty quiet trip then. <laughs> yes, it is.